It's the magic of math here, and today we're talking about the converse of the Pythagorean theorem, which states in any right triangle, our longest side, the hypotenuse C, is equal to the sum of the squares of the legs. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Let's practice. We have this problem that says to drag and drop a number into each box so that the numbers represent the side lengths of the right triangle shown. So we have this right triangle shown and we need to use these five values to identify these two missing side lengths. Here's where you pause the video, you do your best work, and then you come back to see mine. Good luck. Welcome back. So here we're gonna talk about, we have a right triangle. Here's our right angle. And we know when we have a right triangle, we know that we can talk about the Pythagorean theorem. And conversely, what that means is that if the longest side of the triangle is squared, then the sum of the squares and the two smaller sides, then the triangle is a right triangle. So we have a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And we're gonna identify that our C, our longest side, is the side opposite the right angle, our hypotenuse. And the other two sides that form the right angle are the legs, A and B, and they are interchangeable. So when I look at the fact that we've been given one of the legs, I know that my hypotenuse C must be greater than this value. So we know that it cannot be two or six. It has to be greater than six. So we're going to consider 8, 10, or 14 as our hypotenuse. So bringing down our formula, we know that we're going to replace A with 6 and C, our hypotenuse, with 8. So we're guessing. So let's solve this and see if it's possible. So 6 squared is 36, 8 squared is 64. To solve for B, we're going to subtract 36 from each side leaving us b squared is equal to 28. 64 subtract 36 is 28. To solve for b, we're going to take the square root of each side. The square root of b squared is b. The square root of 28 is not a perfect square. So therefore, we know that we can eliminate choice 8 for side c, the hypotenuse. So now the hypotenuse C could either be the values 10 or 14 from our choices. Let's try another one. We'll do 10. So we've been given one leg is 6. We're going to try to see if our longest side, our hypotenuse C, could be 10. 6 squared, as we knew, is 36. 10 squared is 100. To solve for B squared, we're going to subtract 36 from each side, giving us our zero pair here. So B squared and 100 subtract 36 is 64. To solve for b, we're going to do the square root of both sides. The square root of b squared is b, and the square root of 64 is 8. So now we can see that we have that choice 8. And we can replace side b, that leg, could be 8. And if we go back, we put in 10 for our value c, our hypotenuse, so we can drag 10 over to there. Let's clear this workspace so we can look at this. So we know that because 6 squared plus 8 squared is equal to 10 squared, then we can identify that the missing side lengths, our longest side, our hypotenuse, is 10 inches, and our missing leg is 8 inches. And there you have it. That's how you use the converse of the Pythagorean theorem to identify the sides of a right triangle. To use the Pythagorean theorem, the sum of the two legs squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared. Thanks for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. Thanks for joining me, and I hope you come back soon.